today we shall learn about factorization let us take a number say 16 and write it as a product of other natural numbers so this can be written as 2 into 2 into 3 into 5 all these are prime numbers and this is called prime factor form so similarly like 50 can be written in the prime factor form of 2 into 5 into 5 or say another number 35 this can be written in the prime factor form as 7 into 5 all these are prime factors and similarly Algebraic expressions also can be written as products of their factors. Let's take an algebraic expression, say 7x into y. This can be written as 7 into x into y. So this 7, x and y, this they cannot be further expressed as products of factors. So they are like prime factors in, ca in case of the uh, arithmetical expression. But in algebra we call them irreducible instead of prime. Let us take another example of the algebraic expression that is 2x into x plus 1. So this can be expressed as 2 into x into x plus 1 so here 2 x and x plus 1 they all are irreducible factors similarly if we take another expression x plus 1 into x plus 2 this is 2 sorry this is x plus 1 into x plus 2 so both this x plus 1 and x plus 2 are the irreducible factors of the expression x plus 1, x plus 2. When we factorize an algebraic expression, we write it as a product of factors. These factors may be numbers, algebraic variables or expressions. Expressions like say 7xy, 2y square x or x into y plus 1 or say another expression takes 2 x plus 1 y plus 2 are these expressions are already in the factor form their factors can be just read off from them like we can simply say the factor of this expression are x and y plus 1 factors of this expression is 2 x plus 1 and y plus 2 now we consider some expressions like 3x plus 6 or say 2x plus 2y. Take another expression x square plus xy. Take x square plus 6x plus 8. Can we look at the factors here directly? They are not visible. So it is not obvious what these factors are of these expressions. A systematic method is required to factorize these expressions and this is what we will do now. After doing we will be able to understand that 3x plus 6 can be expressed as 3 into x plus 2 or 2x plus 2y can be expressed as 2 into x plus y or x square plus 6x plus 8 this could be expressed as uh, x plus 3 into sorry it, this can be expressed as x plus 2 and x plus 4 now we will learn how to convert these expressions which are not very obvious in factor form using a systematic method of factorizing algebraic expressions. The first way is the use of 
method of common factor so with the method of common factor take one simple example of 3x plus 6 we shall write each term in the irreducible factor form so the first term is 3x this can be written as 3 into x the next term is 6 this can be written as 3 into 2 if we look or the total expression can be written as 3x plus 6 is equal to 3 into x plus 3 into 2. Now using the distributive law of multiplication on addition, you can just simply say this can be written as 3 into x plus 3 into 2 which will be equal to 3 into x plus 2 or simply it can be written as 3x plus 2 now the form of the factors of 3x plus 6 are 3 and x plus 2 let us see the a more difficult expression like 5x square y minus 15 x y square if we factorize or if we express each term in the form of irreducible factors we find that 5 x square y can be written as 5 into x into x into y similarly 15 x y square can be written as 3 into 5 into x into y into y. Now look at the common factors. 5 is common in these two. x is common and y is common. So the common factors are 5, x and y. So the final expression can be written as 5x square y minus 15xy square. This becomes equal to 5 into x into x into y minus 3 into 5 into x into x sorry into x into y into y. So this is what we get. Now taking the common factor out, we have 5xy is the common factor. The resultant expression becomes 5x and y is taken out. So x minus 5x and y is taken out. So becomes 3y. This is what we get the factors. The factors are 5x y and x minus 3y. This is the method of taking common factors. In fact, taking common factors, you need not express each of the terms in the irreducible form. Just by looking, you can take out the common factors. Like, like say if we take any example of ax plus ay. If we look at this expression, we find that a is common in both the terms. We simply take out a and x plus y. This is how the common factor thing works easily. There are two factors a and x plus y. Other example we can take say 3x plus 6y. Here we find the common factor is 3. If we look at 6, 6 is equal to 2 into 3. So we take 3 out becomes x plus 2y. This is how the factorization is done here. Or take a slightly difficult thing that is x y square plus y x square. Here if we take we find that the common factor is x y. The lowest 
In both the expression, the lowest index of x is 1 and the lowest index of y is 1. So, this x y, it becomes y plus x. That's how we can use the method of common factor to uh, factorize the simple expressions. The other method of factorization is the factorization by regrouping. So, if we take example of an algebraic expression, say 6xy minus 4y plus 6 minus 9x. If we look at uh, this expression, we cannot find any common factor in all the four good terms. In this case, we can think of regrouping the terms. If we regroup in two different forms, we see that in the first two terms, there is a common factor. That is, y and 2 are common factors. In the next two terms, we find 3 is a common factor. So, we just regroup in two terms and see 6xy minus 4y. This can be expressed as from the method of common factors. 2y is the common factor here. x, 3x minus 2. This is what we get as the factors of the first two terms. The last two terms are 6 minus 9x. This is equal to 3, 2 minus 3x. Or this 2 minus 3x can be written in the form of, if we take multiply with negative sign, it becomes minus 3, 3x minus 2. Now we see that the both the terms have this 3x minus 2 as common factor. So we can write the term 6xy minus 4y plus 6 minus 9x will be equal to the first term 2y 3x minus 2 plus the second term. Second term comes with a negative sign it is minus 3 3x minus 2. Now we can see that there are two common factors here and this expression can be written as we take common 3x minus 2 becomes 3x minus 2 into 2y minus 3. Now we see that by regrouping two uh, different terms and taking common factors we can factorize this kind of algebraic expressions. Now let us take the example of another ex algebraic expression that is x square plus xy plus 8x plus 8y. Here if we look at regrouping we see that x is common in these two terms in the first term. 8 is common in the other terms. We can simply factorize it by taking common x. This becomes x plus y. And in these two terms, if we take common factor as 8, it becomes x plus y. Now, if we look, we find that x plus y is common in these two terms. We take common x plus y. And the whole thing is x plus 8. So, that's how the factors are x plus y and x plus 8. This is the method of factorization by regrouping.